love to teach. That is my favorite thing in the world to do. And even when I'm working with professional orchestras, I think there's a certain expectation that I'm going to give them something that they don't normally get from their own conductors. It is so important that they dig deep as a student and realize the only thing that's going to help them, I believe, is who they are. Yes, hard work does play a part in it, but perfection is not going to save our, our profession. It's going to be the individual spark, the, the sense of the audience that they're witnessing that person, not just a tuxedo model. The way that you can articulate and project a character the most is not from like literally taking the violin and putting your bow on the string. And so like it literally comes through you and then goes out. And then that's the expression. And the expression, it just so happens to be expressed through a wood box with strings and a bow. Carolyn Golding uh, talked with me a lot about creating colors and finding the characters in a piece. That's always really, really helpful and you can take that forward to new pieces whenever you see similar things. I think it's always um, more helpful when you have a soloist come in and listen to it because she has the experience playing with an orchestra. My hope is, is that after we work together that they'll leave having a better sense of who they are as an artist and what kind of artist they want to be. People should be extremely appreciative and feel lucky that they have the lead center. The staff and the commitment and the sense of programming led by Derek Kwan, it's an amazing facility.